Sam Triatunga, a 28-year-old agribusiness entrepreneur, started with no hope of one day employing over 10 youth and earning a monthly revenue of over 10 million shillings in sales. He now boosts of Tassam's investments, whose asset value now stands at over 50,000 US dollars. So I continue with production after university, and uh, up to now, our business has been growing. Our university is doing 50 liters of juice per week, but here we do 500 liters of juice per day. So in a month we have a daily production capacity, we have a monthly production capacity of around 15,000 liters of product. Uh, uh, so that has been, uh, uh, there has been growth in, the, in production and growth in the market. We had around 30 customers when we were at the university. Those were canteens and uh, shops surrounding uh, the university and the uh, university community areas of Banda, Napsusa and Chireka. But now, uh, at this, uh, for the past one year, for the one year we've spent here uh, in Waxo district, we have over 200 supermarkets and schools. We supply a lot of secondary schools and the uh, other retail shops. 77% of youth in rural areas desire to migrate to urban areas, with 83% of young people between the ages of 15 and 24 largely unemployed in Uganda. Sam, who began his business while at University Hostel, believes entrepreneurship is more than just providing jobs, but also adding value to the products one is selling. Actually, I, we have a family land uh, where we have a lot of mangoes in Chiwaga district. So I looked at these mangoes being given away at garden prices, gate prices. People come and you give them the whole sack of mangoes at 5,000 Ugandan shillings. So I looked, at the, I looked at this as a loss seriously. So I said, now that I've studied food science and technology, I can, I can do value addition to these fruits. The business currently has two office tables where transactions with clients are closed and is also a premise for regulators who are seeking to give the necessary certification to approve the business for further operations. In the office, we could see UNBS approvals or the Uganda National Bureau of Standards Certificate licenses to operate within the city and a number of awards achieved over the years. Last year, Triatunga got discouraged when some of the distributors stole and ran away with over 6 million Ugandan shillings in cash, a major setback in his progress. However, his perception towards life has enabled him to look at building his empire in another way, and now he has opted to forget and focus on the positive to keep his dream alive. We started in 2015 in May. We are making sales of uh, 5 million, then the sales went to around 10. Then by August last year in 2015, we are making sales of 20 million per month. And now when we had some of these distributors, actually there are around four of them, they ran away with the company money worth 7 million, 7 million Ugandan shillings. So all this money brought our company uh, uh, down. Our sales became low, our uh, operational capital reduced. So and, and uh, four months ago, we had also one of them also ran away with around 1 million and 600,000. So I looked at all these people disappointing me as an entrepreneur. I said, let me do this work myself. Let me be the one to dispute and market my products. Let me be the driver, because even the driver we had recently also decided to go with the company money. Uh, those were big challenges. So I decided to be my own marketeer, be the marketeer, be the director and be the driver until when the company is at the level where the products can, uh, where people can pay the uh, uh, money and we give them products on cash. Tassam's Investments is a small-scale industry which is barely surviving on a visionary food and scientist undergraduate who has not yet given up. Uganda business statistics indicate that one in every two Ugandan business that is started fails, usually within three years. If Triatunga continues to keep records, making sales, and eventually attracting government support and investor interest, then it's likely that many more startups will thrive in the Great Lakes region whose potential is ever growing. Location is a very important factor, especially for a business that is to become competitive and profitable in a city such as Kampala. Now, Tassams decided to locate just next to his very own successful brother to be able to achieve this. As I speak, they have been now in the business for close to one year and they hope to become the leading natural fruit juice factory in the Great Lakes region. So. This is a water uh, this is a water purification system. That was, uh, 
a reverse osmosis and the UV power plant. Then it's this water we use across this processing room. So after getting the mango pulp or any fruit pulp from the fruit pulp, we put it in the pasteurizer. So this is the pasteurizer machine. This is the pasteurizer. We pasteurize the product to uh, a specific temperature for a certain period of time. Then we have a product ready. Then this product is sucked by these tubes, by these tubes into the feeding machine. Once the products are in the feeding machine, then we press bottles uh, and, uh, here, then the juice comes from the feeding machine into the bottles, then we do capping, and then we have finished products. Now with these products, or they go into the packaging area, where we do labeling and cartoning. So after labeling, we do cartoning, we put the products uh, two of bottles in, uh, in a carton. Now, the reason why we do this is for easy distribution and marketing. So it is easy distribution. Imagine if we had 1,000, we do 1,000 bottles per day. Imagine if we had all these bottles and we are going to, uh, uh, to stack them in a, in a distribution van, in a delivery van. It will not be easy. But now with products packed like this, it is able to, we are able to take these products to Western Uganda, to Northern Uganda and uh, to uh, hard rich areas when they are cut on, when they are in this form. Andrew Nitre, Channel 44 Business.